I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna raise the toilet bowl above my head. <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> this week, we're going downhill fast with our ultimate soapbox racers. Mine is going to be built for speed, a sleek racing machine that also converts easily into a wheelbarrow. And I'm going to trick it out using the fastest wheels I can find. We're going to race for our very own trophy. We're calling it the toilet bowl. The loser of this race has to fix the toilet. This should give us all the incentive we need to go hard for the checkered flag. Found a couple of cool things. Uh, one is an old uh, golf cart, the uh, pull behind kind of golf cart, and the other is a wheelchair. Whoa. Sorry, man. I didn't even Thank see you. you. Hey, hey, I got them. I got them. <laughs> no first. stealing. I've always wanted a double wheel wheelbarrow down here, so I'd kind of like to dual purpose my soapbox racer. So I'm going to start with a wheelbarrow base. I've got some wheels from a wheelchair, they've got really nice bearings in them, they'll be really fast. I think I've got a fairly good concept. I've straightened the handles for the wheelbarrow so they go straight, and that's going to hold my front axle. Yeah, right now I'm just working on my uh, rear axle. I put a piece of square tubing and attached it to the bucket of the wheelbarrow, and my wheels are going to be these uh, wheels from wheelchair. So I'm just going to weld this nut straight to my axle, then I should be able to just thread these in. Is that intimidating? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, my racer is meant to dual purpose as a wheelbarrow as well. So that is pretty much complete. I'm going to load it up with stuff and take this up to the junk pile. Too bad it's uh, too small to fit Kevin's car in here. That's where it deserves to be. You should just leave that thing there. Want to come check it out, Leonie? I'm going to jump in and I'll take you for a ride. So far, it's performing fairly well as a wheelbarrow. Here we go. It's like a rickshaw. Do you have any money? <laughs> All right, it's your stop. Next step is to get the front wheels on and see how it performs as a soapbox racer. I've got bearings from a wheelchair in my back wheels, and I also have bearings in my front wheels from an old golf pull cart. So I'm just trying to make a turning front axle, and I've just got a little bar that goes across, and then I'm gonna weld my axle to another piece of metal that goes below it. I'm gonna put a hole in it and a piece of threaded rod through, add my wheels, and then I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna steer it. On your mark, get set, go. I don't even need a hill. I just need you. Was it hard to push? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did you say rock? Because if it's not hard to push for you, then that means it's going to go fast down the hill. Uncle Andrew is way faster. I pushed him around. It wasn't very heavy. So that's why I think that Uncle Andrew's is going to win. Yeah, so right now I'm just tricking out my race car. So I've got my team name, Junior Racing, on the back. I attached a first aid kit because uh, Kevin's probably going to be crashing. There is some merit to slow and steady wins the race, and uh, Kevin's certainly going to be slow. This is going to be as fast as I let it go. If I just let it go, it'll go basically lightning speed. With great speed comes great danger. I'm scared now of seeing his design, and he should be too, because I think it's going to go like a batter to hell. I'm going to go across the finish line first. It's just a matter of whether I'll be breathing or not. On your mark. Get set. Get set. Go. go. Mm -hmm. You want to tow? Ah, get back here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. If I can get that cop. 